Hi, I'm Gaz. I make videos about lots of different things. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you how Pete Burns of Dead or Alive influenced my music career. So stay tuned to the latest episode of the G-Log. Meet radio and television personality Gaz Reynolds, the founder of World Domination Records and Great Drive Driving School. Like, comment and subscribe to be part of the journey. This is Gaz Reynolds, the G-Log. The G-Log album is now on sale worldwide. Get your copy now, available at YouTube Music, Spotify and all major outlets around the world. Links in the description below. Welcome, Welcome to another to exciting, another exciting episode, episode of the G Log. G-Log. Recently, I've been running a series of videos all about the major influences in my music career, and certainly Pete Burns of Dead or Alive was one of those major influences in my entire music career. I was very fortunate to meet Pete and Steve Coy from Dead or Alive on many occasions. In fact, Steve Coy I actually became quite good friends with and at one point he was living just down the road from me in Harrow. As I mentioned, I was very fortunate to meet Pete Burns and very, very inspired. I can't really convey how excited and enthusiastic I've always been about Dead or Alive releases and how Pete Burns was. Uh, he was very unpredictable, very, very interesting character. Um, one minute you could be friends with him and then you could fall out with him. But as an artist, totally, totally original, I will never ever forget all that excellent music and songs that he released that influenced me in such a big way in my music career. And as I said, you know, I often go on television and radio shows, I was on a whole load recently, where I talked about Dead or Alive and Pete Burns and their major influence on my career. And I got all the radio stations that I was on to play You Spin Me Round Like a Record because it's my all time favorite record. One of the things that I really loved about Dead or Alive and the whole original thing of Pete Burns was the electronic sound because I'm an electronic artist even though I take influences from a lot of different artists and they're not all electronic but Pete Burns and Dead or Alive I just absolutely loved the total, orig totally original concept of everything that they did and some of those early songs such as You Spin Me Round Like A Record which is my all time favourite record of all time ever and I also think it's the best dance record ever. That's just my personal opinion. Um, totally inspired me in the music industry and you can probably tell that even now I'm getting very excited about the whole thing, just talking about it. Now, um, Pete Burns really, I was just so fascinated by his look and the whole band look and the whole sound of their music and their songs that it inspired me to actually start writing songs and eventually releasing records and I even started up my own record label. In fact my very first record label was called Dangerous Records and I took the name from one of the Dead or Alive albums which was called Mad Bad and Dangerous to Know which was one of my all-time favorite Dead or Alive albums. So because I was so inspired by the album I actually named my record label Dangerous Records. Some of the best albums that Dead or Alive ever released were certainly Youthquake uh, the, the tracks on that are just amazing and those early electronic sounds even to this day inspire the records that I release now. Later records such as Nude and as I mentioned Mad Bad and Dangerous to Know I absolutely loved and it, it was it was very sad to me when Pete Burns actually passed away which was a couple of years ago and just almost a year after Pete Burns passed away Steve Coy passed away and, and I realised then my all-time favourite band was never going to be heard of again. Well, I mean, they'll live on forever, obviously, but, you know, the actual new releases will never come out, and I know that Dead or Alive were about to release a new album, which they were working on. Uh, it made me very, very sad. So I've got no choice on this one. Today's positive shout-out goes to all Dead or Alive fans around the world. I'd love to hear from you. Please leave your comments down below. Um, I'd love to hear your Dead or Alive stories or even your favourite Dead or Alive releases. I've got my personal favourites. You Spin Me Round Like A Record, Brand New Lover, I'll Save You All My Kisses and Hooked On Love. I absolutely love that record and I felt that was very underrated. Tell me what your favourite songs are from the Dead or Alive catalogue. I'd love to hear from you. Leave your comments down below, please. That's the end of today's video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon. <laughs>
I'm Jesus. You can now purchase Gaz Reynolds Presents The G-Log, album volume one from Apple Music, Spotify, and all major outlets around the world. Includes the massive hits Electronic Kama Sutra, I Only Hear You, and Dark Lady. This is one heavenly experience you won't forget. By the way, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button so that you can watch every episode of the G-Log religiously. Out now, Gaz Reynolds' new album, The Electric Wedding Kama Album, Sutra, as featured on Big Review TV Electric and Radio Kama Harrow. Electric. Available Electric at iTunes Kama and Sutra, all major Electric. outlets worldwide.